Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another ATS mod review. This one is on the K800 and you're like, wait a minute, we already got a, K a K800. Not like this. Uh, this one is, this was one of the original ones that I looked at and I could not for the life of me figure out how to get this one to work. Now this one comes with a couple different variations. So I'm just going to touch a couple of these really quickly and we're going to kind of move off of this and go into what I really, really wanted to show you just for the sheer fun of it. Now also brings me up to probably what is around the corner, what is coming in. Uh, just because I did some research today, I actually stumbled across some comments in Steam based on various other mods that do not work as of in 1.31. Now, if you're later on, there's no guarantee that any of this is going to work, but at least in 1.31, this is a potential possibility so hopefully this video finds you well i hope you like it i hope you'll want to subscribe here you want to see more of these also doing big building drives in an actual live stream had big crowds here the past couple of nights put 200 plus people all picking out random parts of the vehicles and, and actually building this as a community so if you like that kind of stuff if you want you know somewhere you can come in and actually have a little say in what goes on in the live stream they come join us uh usually nightly around 10 30 p.m eastern standard time burning some farm sim burning some ats we'll start sprinkling in some uh, euro truck simulator as well doing some mod reviews on maps and some other things how to get uh, really just maximize ETS is crazy right now so hopefully world of trucks is going to be pulling in some new events there too so it's a good good time to get in on the on the uh, on the fun here so uh here we go so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and hide myself off here uh let's get the wheel cam off uh and then I am going to uh let's look at cabins now a few different things about this if you've never seen this mod this is a, you will find this link in the description you'll find discord link as well and anything else pertaining to just the channel and its social media you know profile uh this thing's got a couple of things now i'm gonna save the best for last but this does very much resemble the 800 that came out on uh the main websites uh you know steam workshop is gt mike the gtm team 800 came out it's kenworth 800 now this one is based off of the same design but you'll notice very very quickly on this 800 there are some things that are very different about this truck that you will not find on the other one uh, some of that stuff could be detailed in the chassis there's a lot more detailed you know the frames with the chrome uh, looks good and also the front end you'll notice this thing has got a lot of different front ends on this we just definitely got the extended and air cab sleeper which is typical of any of the kenworth uh trucks and you know there's really nothing new that what we don't already have here in ats but the one thing that's different is you've already seen it i'm sure is the dump truck and that's right i flip and said the dump truck i don't know how in the world i i just i love this i i wish ats would put some more of this kind of like this kind of stuff in there because this to me is like this is the cat's meow this is this is this is this is it i love this stuff so you got a couple of different options of how you can make all this work and uh what you can do to this so let's just work really quick through a few of these things now you can see you've got dump with gravel if we actually have the medium in here uh, but we can switch this off. Let's just look at a couple of these real quick. You got dump with gravel there. You got the medium. You got six by four. Now, any of these don't actually work. So you can still have this day cap, but it will kick uh, the dump truck off. So if you want to keep something up in here, whatever this material is, there's a couple of different ones. So we're going to look at that here quickly uh, or very shortly anyway. So let's, um, all right, let's just throw the, uh, the select plus in there. Uh, I think what uh, these would run a 13 speed, or most of them 13 speed with retarder uh interior now interior is pretty cool uh, we'll get to some of that elsewhere uh, as well so we do have the paint on the uh interior just kind of cool we'll, we'll look at that and see how that let's see what kind of paint job we actually pick out um and let's look at there we go all right so we got metallic blue sign i don't know if any other of the paints have actually come out for this truck i have no earthly idea whether or not any of this but it's gonna paint the front cab just like you know you'd expect it to um creamy orange let's let's do it let's do a uh let's do a custom metallic here let's let's pick something nice here let's do uh let's see if we can do we did a blue earlier on one of the day caps man it was just it's nice so we'll put a we'll put a, a we'll put a dark shadow on that and then we'll put a almost a yellowish uh yellowish orangish metallic on there so when that that light hits it no that's too much let's put a little more orange a burnt orange on there almost kind of crumbs across as a purple hue across the front of it like that let's keep it like that that's fine i will spend too much time on perfecting this because it would actually obviously look better if you had like you know some dot stickers and stuff on the door so as you can see there's actually a lot uh of stuff on this truck that we actually can put in so 
you know, we'll just start clicking through some stuff. Now, here's where you've got a couple of different things. Gravel, limestone, sand, sawdust. Uh, so you can actually carry all of these loads. Now, this is just a graphics load. This is not a load that you're actually carrying. What I would love to see a modder do is create uh, some invisible loads of gravel, of sand, of limestone, and actually, uh, you know, are trailerless but still carry the weight. So you actually simulate that you actually are picking up something that is heavy. Now, whether that's going to happen, I got no idea. Now you can do a chrome truck or you can do a black truck. Obviously we're going to stick it with a regular. It's got 150 gallon fuel tanks on it. Uh, and then we'll start moving around here. We'll see kind of what we've got. A little window trim here if you want some window trim treatments. Now it does have some pretty nice custom additions to the window seals, door frames, uh, especially up here around uh, the Kenworth sign, there's a couple of chrome fender trims you'll see here. You've got those. You got the plastic. We'll throw the plastic fender trims on. Air filters. Add some of that in there. Chrome flames. Everybody's got to have some chrome flames around our, our secondary window down there. <laughs> so you got that on there. Oh, uh, we just did that. Sorry. Let's see what else we got. We got deflectors, orange LEDs up in here. So you got orange LEDs up in there. I do like the chrome deflectors, actually. I didn't think I would. I do like that. Uh, we got stock, then stock brows. We'll leave the regular brows on there. Uh, stock chrome, yes. Bug deflector, we'll see what it looks like. Eh, it's a little much. Leave it off for right now. Stand, oh, nice. So you got a couple different hoods. Oh, sweet. So this is what I'm used to seeing. I'm used to seeing the really high hood uh, on the dump truck. I, I it's, it's I don't mind the wide hood, the little snub nose. Uh, I guess you see quite a few of those. I don't see too many of the 800 style. Uh, I was going to call this this uh, really drawn down. I don't really see a lot of these anymore, well, at least in, in the, the newer. The newer ones are different altogether. Uh, but around where I live, we see a lot of the high hood, which is really uh, reminiscent of the 900B front end. So if you like that style, then this one's definitely going to be right up your alley. So let's uh let's continue on uh we got the multi-purse beacons which the probably will go away once we pick our bumper which is down here let's see what we got uh bumper shields we'll just start okay we'll start crawling through some of these here lights are gonna camera action oh nice i like that um okay we got monster big monster big paints chromes monster paints all right, well, I definitely like the one before this one. All right, uh, was it this one? Nope. Yes, I like that one. Painted in, it's got the chrome center strip. I like that. And it's got the lights in there as well. Deflectors and orange LEDs, there you go. We'll keep that on there. I don't know why I like the, I do like the orange LEDs. And it's kind of nice the way it, it uh, kind of recesses. Uh, I like the way the lights are recessed into the fender uh let's add some air filters now the cool thing is you'll notice it does it does take your chrome fenders away but it does add this this nice uh modeled notch in there so you can make room for your air filters and it's got the uh deflectors and everything right here so the wind doesn't get caught up in there um let's see what we got on these uh hood mirrors i guess it's up to you um mm, i'd rather yeah i'd rather put these up on the uh i'd rather put these up here let's do some mirror double duties there and what else we got there? Chrome paint. What are we chrome painting? Oh, okay. Window trim. All right. Plastic. All right. Good Lord. All right. So we'll just do straight up there. That's fine. Got some light adapters. Beacons. What's that beacon look like? All right. So we got regular old side beacons on there. The horn evidently is like it's going to be. Got the nice visors. So if you want the custom visors, let's see what we got here. Got the paint. The paint one's nice. Chrome there. Let's see what we got. Not a big fan of these. I don't like the chrome because you can see the chrome inside the actual truck, so I like for it to be painted. Be nice if it was black. Yeah, that would be nice if you could actually have that. Oh, interesting. Stock my Oh, there you go. You get full uh, full window treatment there, and you actually got yeah. All right, let's do that. I like the stock stock. Uh, that's nice. All right, so this one does actually have a uh, window tint. Now, whether or not this window tint, let's see if we can see inside. Oh, look at that, man. Yeah, we got a live stream this. Even if we just take a little quick spin, 
Okay, so that will change everything on the inside too, so it changes it all. So we'll just put a smoked glass in there. How about that? All right, standard hoods, all that's good. Stock mount, we got that. Yes, we got that. And I'm not going to worry about any of that. Not going to worry about that. No need. No need. What is that? Okay. Now, okay, let's let's add this because I think we can change. There it is. We're right there. So we can change this to, oh, sweet. The Eaton Fuller. Uh, we'll leave the medallion. Can we do this on the paint? Please tell me we can do this on. Yes. <laughs> this is getting better every day. Sweet. Uh, it'd be nice. Mm, I bet it's not going to let us change the chrome. Okay. Sometimes they'll let you do the uh, the chrome shift on there. That's that's cool, though. We'll leave that. That is nice. There's one other one, too, I know we've got, and we'll have to go back outside to grab it. Okay, now, steering wheels. Here's the other cool part about this. Steering wheels in this particular truck have the regular stuff. You have steering wheel creation pack, which you'll find all these over here, and you know you have them. They're a paid DLC. Get them right now because they're actually on sale uh, as of the 20th of June. Uh, sorry, July. All these have classics, combos, classics, the classic leathers, all these things. You'll see all of these, even all the way down to the very end of these. You'll notice that they have the color version too. I have never, in any truck, whatever, I've never seen um, all of these down here. They're normally the mahogany, and they're normally just like the mud flap girl is this nasty old brown. But now they've actually got these in the color of the truck, and I have never seen that. Same with the flames. So this is one of those things where if you want to have a little bit of kick on this thing, you've got Excalibur color. I mean, I was like, oh, my God, man, these are freaking cool. Only one they're missing was the Colts, man. I like the Colts. I uh, wish I would have done it in a color. Um, but anyway, you get the regular Kenworth Classic. You can do some of the classic steering wheels on this thing. So there's lots of options depending on you know how, how custom you wanted this truck. So I'm going to go. Um, I think I'm going to either go with Excalibur color. Yes, I'm going to go with Excalibur. But this might be one of those things, too, where you might want to take and do the modern interior instead of the painted interior. But honestly, I, I've kind of, I kind of want the blue. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. I kind of like the blue. So let's, let's change this steering wheel to black. We'll make a... Uh... Yeah, see, it's like this dark wood. We can't have the dark wood in there. So let's see what the Kenworth ones we have. Retro. Yeah, you definitely go the retro steering wheel on that. The pinion poly, pinion leather. Let's do classic leather. Yeah, there you go. Let's just do the classic weather, the leather steering wheel, and we'll put us a suicide knob on there, just like we got here in the live stream. Now, I don't think this thing has any kind of GPS. I don't believe, not inside, and even uh, the C Solar S SISL's pack does not have one, unless this one right here is. It may have that. That might be what it is. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's roll the outside one more time because there is an option that I am missing. And we'll see if I can find it. Yeah, there you go. So the chrome door handles. So you got that. And you can see the little blue Kenworth in there. Um, so that's there. And you've also got a couple more. So you can actually do some pretty cool stuff. Now, I definitely don't like that. I don't mind those flames. There's supposed to be one up here, and I, I feel dumb. I cannot find it. Metal detector standard hood. Yeah, and it should be up here. And it's... Um... Oh, there we go. We can add that back. Good. Uh, and it should be up there, but it's not. So I'm not sure what I did with that. <laughs> I must have hit it and did something. So anyway, there should be another flamed one there. So if we've got all that, I'm going to take these chrome flames off because that's just too much. That's too much hotness. So you may not even uh, you may not even like that, but yeah, there you go. All right, so let's uh, let's dress these babies up. Let's put some uh, slick wheels on this thing. Um, now I'm going to put in a more aggressive, which I don't normally put the aggressive stuff on here, um, but um, no, I didn't want to do that. I want to put the heavy uh, twelve and a half chromes on here. So if we do that, we're going to be able to put the uh, the big um, Michelin's on there, or we can put the big Goodyear's on. But I know. People will kill me if I don't put Goodyear's on. So we'll uh, we'll throw a set of those on. All right, we'll hide that. We'll leave regular standard hub in there. Go ahead and put some chrome caps on that son of a gun. Look how beefy that is, man. That's burger beefy right there. All right, so we'll add the same thing here. Scroll the way down. Oh, wait a minute. Those are eight and a half chromes. I don't want that. I want the... Uh, 
Yeah, I guess that'll have to work. Yeah, that'll be fine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Got I totally, totally, totally got uh, got messed up there. Yeah, eight and a half are the only things you can't put the twelves back here. So let's change this. We'll put the good years up here. Bigger, thicker pattern back here. Continentals look nice. Yeah. There we go. Let's go with those. All right, so we'll put chrome. There we go. Let's put those goods. Those goods and make sure they're all matchy matchy. Yes, they are. Uh, we'll take this cap off. I'm not a big fan of those caps. Do that. Take that one off. And last one. Now, that, that is like uh, anybody would be proud to drive that dumb truck. Um, let's see, SES, got white mud flaps. Yeah. Kind of had to leave those black. And the chrome bikinis are good, but we'll leave it with the uh, standard black uh, uh, red stripe there. All right, so we got one more thing we can do. Uh, and that's on facing this way, we can change. There we go. We can change the exhaust. So we've got a couple of different things. Now the dump truck brings some a lot in there. So you've got uh, quite a few just on the dump truck. Now a lot of these exhaust three, fours, and fives, a lot of these can be just stuff that's attached to the side, but they're not necessarily quote unquote, uh, you know, derivative of the dump truck. So um, they do have special ones that are just for the dump truck. So we'll look at some of those. And mainly most of those are the size is also, they've got the, they're the perfect notch cut out there for uh, the placement of that bed. So. You got the big ones here, which I still, man, those right there are going to be hard to beat. And that's your uh, single on the right. Probably got a, a bigger one, a single on the left, maybe. All right, so we got 90 turnouts there. Probably got some 45s up in here. So it looks like you get two different ones. There you go. So you got 45s, 45 bigs. Nope, nope. All right, so you're missing the one. So they're missing the, the big ones. So I guess those is kind of big. So there you go. So we got 45 turnouts, or we've got the 90-degree turnouts there. And then we've got, there you go, single on the right side. And then we've got smaller one and then double bigs. Yeah, we're going double bigs. But I actually think, just looking at this, it'd be nice if we had the full, <laughs> nice if we had some big old huge stacks out there. I kind of like the 45s, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go back. I'm going to revert back. There we go. Nice. All right, so we got that. Mirrors are done. That's done, paint. All right, so we got some chrome up on here. We've got this done. The gas tanks are going to be what they are. You cannot change those, um, at least not to my knowledge. I don't think you can. Nope, you cannot. Those are what they are. Uh, then you can put cab lights on if you want to, but I'm just going to let, leave that chrome strip down there because it's a little overkill to put quite so much down there. Uh, other than that, that's that. Uh, now a dump truck if you wanted it chrome just making sure I've got everything on here and then what we got we got sawdust let's leave uh, uh, let's leave some gravel in there why not let's do that there you go. so we'll confirm this 178,000 won't be no problem go ahead and let's purchase this one of those look at that man it is bad to the bone all right, well, here we are. Got the wheel cam up, and we got our truck ready to rock and roll. So we'll take a little quick peek out on the outside with our limestone here. Nice, aggressive tires on this on this uh, bad boy. Deacon, the beacons do not work. Uh, that's probably something that hopefully this is still a work in progress mod, so hopefully that will come in, uh, and that will uh, start working. But a nice good little metallic on there. It's a really nice touch to put that in. Uh, the chrome wheels look absolutely fantastic, as well as all the other chrome stuff on here. So good job on the bed, and otherwise... Uh, especially the fuel planes and stuff up there look pretty uh, pretty realistic. Inside, it's a beauty. Uh, we've got lots of stuff going on here. Lots of nice blue trim, door panels, dash, and all that other uh, upper panels there as well. Um, so, yeah, this is good. Even got the green around, uh, you see, the gauges. So, uh, kind of has that old school flavor whenever you uh, turn anything on, you get the nice green um, green uh, LED uh, backlight. That's what I was looking for, backlighting. Uh, so I'm going to have a little bit of a uh, mouse drive, not mouse drive, but at least mouse view to kind of do our turns. Um, and track IR seems to be, it's too bright in the room for it. So it's not reading my sensor very well. So I've been struggling with this all afternoon. So, But I want to get this video out to you guys. So let's, uh, let's do the best we can with it. 
We are in a 13 speed, which won't be the end of the world. I'm used to driving the 18, so it does become a little bit weird. Now we still got, oh yeah, we can still do that. Not the end of the world. All right, so, okay, so a couple of other things as well as we uh, continue in, in uh, continue on here. Now, we don't have any kind of jumps for this truck as of yet. Uh, we'll be looking at a few more things here probably uh, I would hope within the next couple of weeks we should be. I'm sure someone's going to do this, but Zeter or Zeter or someone like that. Uh, it's like Zeter Max or something. Anyway, he did a whole entire trailer set uh, that was made for this as well as the, um, the 900. And also the 389 dump truck. So each one of these trucks got to share out of that one particular mod. They added support for all three trucks. So hopefully that's going to come out. Now, I will say this. I did read in a couple of forums where he said that he was uh, going to be updating all of his trailers or that his trailers were already in the process of being updated. So uh, that only means that the Eager Beaver is, is in there. And if you don't know, it's basically like a, a pub-style flat deck trailer that you can attach to uh, you know, something like this, uh, like a dump truck, some, some kind of a short stock truck like this. Um, and it basically can hold like a smaller excavator, a small bulldozer, maybe a ditch witch if, you know, depending on what kind of company you're, uh, you know, pulling dump for, especially if it's like a small bobcat or something like that. You'll find those guys will be trailering a lot of that. Um, so anyway, it had a lot of really wonderful cargo loads, but I tried it every which way six days to Sunday and I couldn't get it to work. So um, for right now, at least as of uh, June, uh, July the 20th, this uh, mod is simply just for us to drive around town and enjoy being in a dump truck, which I've got to admit is pretty thinking cool. I mean, there's really, I don't know, like this is one of those things, the mass transportation, this just kind of goes with the, uh, this kind of goes with the whole truck thing. Like there's no reason why they couldn't figure out a way for us to take imaginary loads, you know what I'm saying? So I want to get the interstate here and then we'll just kind of let this thing drive a little bit. We'll pick up some speed, see how she drives. Already feels good. I mean, it's just a good, uh, good feels truck here. I remember driving this as soon as I had actually gotten and done some research on ATS. This is one of those trucks that I so desperately tried to, uh, to get working again. Oh, there you go so not 
too shabby not too shabby at all so anyway we're going to go ahead and continue off here with this we'll just uh we're going to drive up on up i think we're on our way up to flagstaff where we should be going if i took my right my right turns out of there uh so anyway we'll continue our little drive up and our joy drive here in the uh, a new body truck i'll leave links down in the description so you guys make sure you go grab those uh, if you've got any need any help with those downloads mods, I've got a video on the front of the uh, the YouTube. Oh, well, you're slamming on brakes. Come on now. So if you look on the front of the YouTube page, uh, look down there and you'll see uh, down at the bottom, uh, Modding 101. And they'll have uh, adware. I'll talk, I'll talk about adware within stuff. I'll talk about downloading mods from mod sites outside of the Steam Workshop. I believe we'll pull right in here to rest here as we uh, get ready to close things up. There we go. Right on it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So now I've got all that stuff modding 101. Uh, you'll be able to see everything in there, everything that's going on. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a nice little kind of a shorter build and drive here with the modded truck. Um, it is a wonderful truck, so hopefully there gets a little bit more updates. It's got a lot of customization, even for a dump truck. The also that I want to also point out is this thing does have a lot of other stuff. You can do regular T800 stuff with it. You can do regular trucks. You can do, you know, kind of your aero cab. You got all the other stuff. So don't forget, it's not just a dump truck. It does serve its purpose uh, for some other things as well. So anyway, uh, make sure you leave a like here. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that link. Join us up in the Discord. Convoys are usually on Saturday night. Uh, we usually have anywhere from 25 to 30. Uh, people here in our convoy so they're always big they're always fun they're always exciting so you guys are more than welcome to come join us but until next time i'm ftg signing off here with another great mod review here on the t800 by gt mike and the crew so hopefully these guys uh will get this bad boy up to speed maybe get it up on steam workshop maybe get some errors and maybe we can get some trailers on these bad boys so that we can actually take them out and make some money with the dump trucks i'm gonna be a fan of that i'll be all over so anyway guys that's it for me i'll see y'all here in the next video